Welcome to The Healing Experiment. I am your host, Sue Dumay. The Healing Experiment is a podcast where we create a felt experience of healing and a potential for creating insights and awakening in every single episode. So I have beautiful guests that come on and join me. And today is one of my favorite topics and one of my my favorite people in the world right now. Aparna Vamula is a certified intuitive coach, a certified Sui Reiki master, a soul realignment practitioner, and the creator of Whisper Within. She is a gentle guide who blends her unique intuitive gifts and tools like Reiki, meditation, mediumship, and creative journaling to support women to lean into their inner knowing. Aparna empowers others to support their own awakening and show up as their joyful, authentic self. She's also very gifted uh, through mediumship and supports women to explore and deepen their connection to their spirit babies, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So welcome, Aparna, to the show. I'm excited to have you here. Hello, Sue, and hello, everyone. Um, Thank you for having me here, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. So thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. So can you talk a little bit? Let's let's start with the basics. So let's assume that someone's listening and doesn't have any idea what a spirit baby is. And I know I've had my experience with spirit babies doing, you know, channeling and and mediumship. And I know that is something you're very passionate about. But I just want to hear from your perspective, what is a spirit baby in, in your experience? Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question uh, because I probably did not have any clue about what that was until until I had my miscarriages. So uh, I've always loved children. And for quite a while since I was young, I could feel energies around me, but it was often oh, an overwhelming. So I used to shut it down and not bother about it. Um, but the first time I really encountered what a spirit baby was, uh, was when I was just grieving my miscarriages. And in during the process, there was also this opening and a sense of awe. I had no idea what it was, but I could sense baby energies around me. And it was an interesting point where I was grieving the loss as well as sensing a baby around. And it, it felt kind of a paradox. I was standing in. Um, but at the same time, it it was an it was an opening. I felt where I felt like I was at the end of the road, and this was like a ray of hope that was coming in. And I began to focus, and I saw that there was almost guidance that was present for me to take the next step, and the next step, and the next. Um, at the point, I didn't know that they were called spirit babies, so I just named them my guiding stars. And only later did I actually come to know that there was something and there was a concept called spirit babies. And it got me, it it got, it really got me hooked actually to know what was going on. Um, So the way I understood spirit babies was just as how we have people passing over and there's another realm for them. There is also a place where new souls that are intending to incarnate on earth side are also present. So this is how I can put it as simple as possible as what spirit babies are. Mm -hmm. I I love that. It's like these souls that are, that are choosing to incarnate, that are choosing to come into kind of an earth form, like the, the human form. And it's, it's such a, like a, it's like almost like a a place of welcome. It's like a place of transition, right? From, from, from being in spirit to, to coming into human form. Yes. Yes, absolutely. What do you find that that's helpful? What do you find? I know you talked, you spoke about your experience and kind of going from like experiencing that grief and then having a sense of hope, like there's something more, something bigger here playing out something more than just you wanting a child. I had a similar experience as like, I just realized that like, it wasn't just me making a choice to be a mom. It was a baby 
a, a spirit baby choosing to come in as well. So that really opened up my mind and opened up my perspective to go beyond just my desperate need at that moment. It was a desperate need to have a baby or need to have a child and, and shift into more of inviting the baby to come in. And that was really powerful for me. But what do you, what do you feel like in your experience with helping your clients and helping them kind of shift the perspective to inviting their baby or connecting with their spirit baby? What are some of the experiences you had with them or what are some of the things that can actually happen when we broaden our minds and open our minds a little bit more to this, this spiritual realm and the soul realm? Yeah, absolutely. And I think what you said was correct. Um, sometimes it's just the two parties that we are, we think it's conception is all about us beginning or being prepared to welcome a baby, but it's also the choice of the baby, their timing and their purpose and their path as well. So, yeah, I mean, when, um, so one of the first things I would like to mention here is when a woman, she would, she has the longing to become a mother, there is a connection that's already being made with a, with a baby that chooses to be born into the family. And most women have a sense of this bonding and they, they do have a sense of the child that's coming in. But at the same time, I think the biggest challenge is to trust that knowing. And that's exactly where I come in and to help them nurture that bond, to support it. And for some women, it can, um, it can be a challenge to be open in ways that, um, uh, in, in ways that they can detect or they can explore those energies can be more led by fear of losing or of wanting, of grasping. But it's also a place to nurture a bonding that can be more deeper and so much more than just having a baby in your life. So in ways I've seen is that when, when women start opening up to explore these energy, they actually begin to shift old limiting beliefs. These underlying patterns, the denser uh, vibration of what they have been moving through in their world before actually creating the space for themselves and their babies to come in. Yeah, yeah. that's a beautiful, like creating a, a vibrational space. Or, and when you're talking about kind of moving from the energy of fear being the catalyst that, that brings you on this path of conception and shifting into more of that, that love, loving intention and, and connection and, alignment and and feeling that family already forming before before conception even occurs on a physical level that's true yes and it's a beautiful thing to see when um when we start beginning to nurture this bond much before conception happens and then see it evolve as the child actually comes outside and then the the parents are more aware and awake already to the needs of the child as well as they have created a bond that runs far beyond, beyond just being able to conceive a child. It's mm -hmm. about you know, shifting traumas, the lineage trauma, family traumas, or even ancestral, uh, ancestral issues that, that are kind of being perpetuated throughout generations. So this is a huge thing, a huge step, a shift that opens a new paradigm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It has a potential to heal many generations. Um, absolutely. I've seen that over and over again. The, the one piece that that's just coming to mind right now is, is I've had, so some women listening to this might be, or even couples, if they're listening to this, they might be, you know, it might be a bit of a stretch for their mind, or it might be a bit of a stretch for, for their belief system or, or their ability to kind of connect to something that's, you know, beyond physical or, or tangible experience. But in those moments where I've worked with other women that, that have maybe not been so open to the idea of a spirit baby or didn't know to even open their mind to a, a spirit baby, I've had many women that have said, I'm so glad I had this experience. It, it confirmed an inner knowing you know, it's, it confirmed a knowing it, it gave, 
words or an experience to what they were already sensing. So I believe that we all have that ability to sense and intuitively connect to those souls that are meant to come in to be part of our families or those individuals that are around us, like even loved ones that have passed, you know, when we do mediumship, that's, that's what we're really doing. Um, it's really nice when, when you see that the connection between something they already were sensing and knowing, but they didn't even realize it. And yeah. once you, once you form that connection there, it's like confirmation, right? Yes. It's like bridging the gap, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's quite uh, natural because we always have these gatekeepers like fear and overwhelm, uh, almost blocking our intuitive knowing or letting us tune in deeper. So I think most, uh, most couples or most women find this challenging to move beyond that. Yeah, absolutely. So, so part of your gift, so, so someone that's interested in kind of connecting with their spirit baby, they can come to you and have that experience and they don't have to have the belief in place. They don't have to even know what that looks like or feels like. And, and you become the guide or a bridge, a guide that kind of creates a bridge between their spirit baby and their, and, and the mother or the father being able to help them experience that connection and then teaching them tools and different ways that they can actually then foster that connection by themselves. So you're empowering them to hold that connection, you know, as a practice on a daily basis. Is there some things that come into your awareness that you can maybe share, like some tools that you use that help create that bridge for, for women? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the first one would be start with trusting can you trust anything that comes up? So um, at most times it's the doubt, the self-doubt that kind of puts them and they are in a place where um, the fear that they could be making up things or imagining. And so I just give them full permission to say in this moment, can you just trust everything that's shown to you? And the other thing is... Uh, uh, many people do, when, when they do come up, they say, I'm not so visual, so I don't think I can do a meditation and then um, imagine what's going on. And I'm like, no, you don't have to. So if I just tell you there's a pink elephant in the room, I think your mind just, just imagines that. And it's as simple as that. So you do not have to have an understanding or a belief system that opens you up. But I would encourage you to come with an open mind, an open heart, and just be, just be curious and look at this as something to wonder about or, or just rest there in the, in the trusting that everything is just as it is and you don't need to do anything there. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of women who are on the fertility path are become more open to to this kind of thing, especially those that maybe struggle to get pregnant in the beginning and or struggle to conceive, you know, for for a longer period of time than one would expect. You know, you go your whole life trying not to get pregnant. When you start trying, you expect it should happen immediately, right? Yeah. So when it doesn't happen right away, I know a lot of people can can really struggle with that. That's true. I mean, the fertility path is like. The challenges are uh, sometimes so so private, and those smaller challenges are quite unknown. Like having to having to make a second attempt at belief or reopen your heart when it's like feeling shattered, and all those nuances are it's it's quite hard to describe or be witnessed. And having a space of support and something to to be a companion on your path. Like you have a partnership on your journey to motherhood. So how, um, how supportive does that feel? How nourishing it feels to be able to open and keep a space that, that's so much more personal to you and having a connection to the baby-to-be or the children that are meant to come into your family and having a having a closer relationship and being the family even before it's actually happened. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm, I remember saying, I'm, I'm a mother already. I'm a mother in spirit. And my spirit baby's already around me. So I, I chose to acknowledge that I'm a mother ahead of time, you know, before the baby's in my physical arms. And that was really helpful and healing for me. Yeah, that's true. It, it does support you. And I think uh, from my own personal experience, this is exactly what I felt. I felt more relaxed and I think I could shift in from the wanting to a more welcoming space. So it was more about inviting them in, welcoming them in and having that lightness of spirit um, inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I had an experience with you. You, you did a session with me uh, so that I could have an experience of the work you do and the experience that a client would be walked through with, with your presence and you holding space. And I, I really enjoyed it. It was actually quite beautiful. And, and we connected to a spirit baby that I used to connect with all the time. It's still around me. It's not intending to come in into the physical form, but it, it served a purpose and had a really powerful relationship with me. So we had that experience. And then we also did some work and I didn't, I don't think I shared this part with you afterwards, but we, my grandmother spirit came in and she's still alive, but she's suffering from dementia right now. And she's not really suffering. She's just kind of losing her memory and, and disconnected from those individuals, you know, that are present in her life. Now she doesn't recognize them so much anymore. And when we connected to her spirit, it really shifted something in the way of how I show up. So we do a weekly Zoom with her and we do a visit with her. And she, she just was lit up differently and, and we have a different experience. I have a different perspective when I meet with her and, and share that time with her now. And I feel like she, there's something familiar, like she recognizes me differently than before and that was really powerful so I want to thank you for that experience thank mm -hmm. you and I know that there's probably women out there that are that are curious or you know wanting to to have some form of experience and maybe connection with their spirit baby so I I know you agreed to offer a an experience a little meditation journey to connect people with their soul uh, spirit baby today so I'm going to invite you to maybe move into that. And then after the meditation, we can talk about how people can connect with you if they feel like they want to further, you know, do some work with you further. So I'll just invite you to kind of take us through the meditation. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So yeah, if everyone's ready and if you're ready. So I'm just going to invite you to, to find a place where you can relax have no distractions for some time. And do have a glass of water if you need to by your side. But to really get into a place where you can be comfortable and, and relax. When you're ready, gently close your eyes. And I invite you to take a few deep breaths. We're going to be anchoring to this present moment by using our breath. So in through your nose and out through your mouth slowly with a sigh. Let's take a few deep breaths this way and really land into this moment. And I invite you to with each breath, soften your heart, just loosen your jaw, drop your shoulders and land a little bit more than before onto the chair you sat on or the bed you are on. Recalling all parts of you back from time, all the spaces you've been, all the places you've gone to, just to come back to this moment and land here. Another deep breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth with a sigh. I invite you to move through your inner gaze from your mind's eye to the region that's between the eyebrows or the third eye 
as it's called. With the next breath, you can almost enter in through this third eye and then slide in to your heart. It's just without any effort. Imagine that you could just slide into your heart space. If there is resistance, just breathe through it. Just soften and allow. Look around in your heart space and find a comfortable space there where you can stretch. You can just feel yourself. This is your trustful space. There's nobody here. And I want you to look around and see if there's anyone other than you who is in this, in this space. You can gently ask them to leave. This space is yours, your own inner sanctuary. It's got all the things that you love, the softest of the cushions, and a place that is meant for you. I'm just going to draw your attention to the right side of the heart. There is a beautiful door. It's painted in rainbow colors. And it's quite distinctly seen. I invite your attention towards that. And if you feel guided, you can start walking towards it. This is your doorway or a portal to connecting to the spirit world to the land of the angels, the archangels, your own spirit guides, the spirit babies that are meant to connect with you today. Any ancestors that are meant to connect in the highest light of, of love, your own guardian angels, we're just moving towards opening this beautiful portal. When you feel guided, you can just say yes to connecting with them and you can be assured they are connecting with you only in the space of trust and love. When you feel ready, you can turn the knob off and open the door now. On the other side is a beautiful bridge and it's called the Rainbow Bridge. Even as you look out of the door to the other side, you can almost see a dome of white light which extends far beyond your heart, much wider, much bigger than your physical body. And it's still, it's your space. It's just an extension of your heart. And you're safe here. You can trust it. I'm going to now invite you to start walking up to the bridge. And even as you walk, just observe the surroundings, the energy. Do you feel any warmth? Or do you feel any energies nearby? any images or sounds.
allow your heart to kind of really rest into this place. Even as you walk or step onto the bridge, just have an open heart, an open mind, and a sense of curiosity. There is a small bench on the bridge, almost midway across the sides. If you feel guided, I invite you to take, take your space, take your seat on the bench. And you can be sat here and it overlooks endless meadows, wildflowers of all kinds, yellow, the purple, violet, and the orange. You're allowed to just sit here and have some time, relax, and look out into the beautiful sight in front of you. If you're okay, let's invite the spirit babies to come in, to connect with you. And you can do so by just setting an intention in your heart, just calling out if you can. Maybe say, hello, do you like me? How are you? I love you. I'm here. I'm listening. I would love to connect with you. Just allow those words to flow in the air and meet the and meet the baby or the spirit that's meant to connect with you. And you'll know your tuck, the heart. Just being open. Observe any changes around you. If you see a picture, maybe an image. This is an invitation to connect through your heart to the spirit that's meant to connect with you. And all you're doing is just creating a space for it to come in. You can invite them to sit beside you on the bench. I'm just going to invite you to just trust anything that you receive. And without judgment, The messages we often receive are through our five senses and intuition speaks to us through that. You could be receiving an image or you could send someone nearby or you could receive a word or even a complete sentence. 
just be open to it. Do you have a gift or a message that you want to share with your spirit baby? Go ahead and do that now. Ask if you're meant to receive any messages from the spirit baby or the baby. And notice your body while you're in the receiving and the giving. Are there any goosebumps or shivers? Or do you feel a sense of warmth or softness around you? You could also ask for a sign from your spirit baby to connect with him or her. Be open to the exchange of information here. You could spend as much time as you want here. And you can also come back anytime you wish to, to connect with your spirit baby. Just as you are here, I'm just going to invite you to look to the other side of the bridge. Is there someone waiting to connect with you? Do you sense anybody else? Sometimes there could be a message from a loved one who loves to connect with you at this point. Or they could just be there to offer their love to you. This is absolutely your space to explore. I invite you to take a moment to just look around. Soak in the love that you're receiving. It's unconditional and it's just for you. And you can always come back here. If you feel guided and you're ready, you can be just loving goodbye to your spirit babies and just let them know that you're here for them and you would love to connect with them anytime.
take a moment to offer your gratitude and love to all those in your spirit family that, that offered their love to you here. Just thanking them. You can make your way back to your heart now if you're ready. Or if you would like to spend more time here, please do so. As you walk back to your heart and open the door to it, you enter again into your own sanctuary. and make your way up. And just become aware of your entire body now. Taking the time to gently come back to your awareness. Come back to the room you're in. Bring your awareness to your feet. your calves and your thighs, your pelvic bone, the abdomen and the heart, back to the jaw and take a deep breath and let it out with a sigh. Just wriggle your toes and stretch your arms. When you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Such a, um, a peaceful journey, like a very peaceful guided journey. And then the uh, I had a spirit baby come in faith had come in one I've talked about before and she was just like coming in to say hi and and the message I got was uh meditate with me play with me that's the, the, the kind of play and meditate with me was the kind of theme and um my grandfather was there my father showed up my grandmother showed up <laughs> a whole bunch of bunch of um present it was very lovely thank you yeah, that's so lovely. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. So I think, mm -hmm. go ahead. I just wanted to tell you that um, there's always a sense of playfulness and joy and a sense of lightness when, when you're connecting with the spirit babies. So that's something to, uh, it, it's almost like a reflection of our own inner selves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. I love that. And and I I find it very fascinating that like all the spirit babies have their own unique personality. They have their own unique, you know, needs and desires and, you know, messages. So it's, it's always a fascination to, you know, to, to connect with them and, and to learn about them and to, to tune into their personalities. Right. So for those of you that are listening and wanting to connect with your spirit baby or any other you know souls that are around you that have a message i invite you to come back to this episode and listen to that the guided meditation let up let aparna guide you and walk you through that journey again and then eventually you might find yourself you know doing it on your own but for now you've got this beautiful recording that you can come back to and listen to this episode over and over to really help you hmm, create more of a, a practice for yourself and more confidence in that practice of connecting to your spirit baby. So Aparna, for those that are interested in, like I know you do, obviously you do meditation, you do work with people one-on-one, -on -one, you also do spirit baby readings. So if, if there's somebody who's listening that wants to connect with you and wants to, feels inspired to work with you, how can they find you? Yes, I would love to. Um, so I have a website and that's called whisperwithin.me and you can directly contact me over that or even book a session. And 
you can also email me at aparnatwhisperwithin.me. And then if you just want to chat and link, just share your experience, yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, so I will share the link to the website in the, sh the show notes. So those of you that are listening, you can find the show notes or you can go to whisperwithin.me.me and you can find Aparna there and connect with her and follow up. If you feel a nudge in your heart to do a spirit baby reading, I highly recommend you book a time and experience it because there's really no you know, you can talk about it and describe it. And it, it's really a felt experience like, like no other. So I would invite you to, to uh, follow that nudge if you feel that in your heart. So thank you, Aparna, for being here and for sharing your heart and for doing your heart work in the world and, and really kind of answering the call and to do this spirit baby work and to do the work you're doing. I feel it's really timely it's it's essential and and people are so much more open than they used to be and so much more curious about these things and i just want to thank you for saying yes to follow that nudge within your own heart and for for sharing your gift with us and and with the world yeah absolutely thank you so um i'm ever grateful to your support and guidance that you've given me all along and yeah it's, it's my pleasure and thank you for this opportunity. I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate you coming and joining us each week and uh, having that felt experience of the different healing modalities. I'm going to continue to invite different guests and people that inspire me, people that I've worked with, people that I know are in alignment and who are really bringing that that beautiful passion and heart work in the world and, and really allowing their work to actually uplift humanity. And, it, and that's what it's all about is really creating more love and unifying us in love for each other and our planet. So thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate you. I honor you. I see you until next time, love and blessings.